Hello, welcome to another Adventures in Bing Chat video. So I thought it'd be interesting to put out there some simple prompt frameworks which people can use as they see fit. For, I suppose, the last couple of weeks, I've been going through various resources and trying to get to the sort of core structure of like very simple one sentence prompts and i came up through you know going through various resources these 40 things these 40 simple prompt structures or frameworks however you want to think of them that seem to keep coming up again and again and again and you can see basically how you use this is you just do what is the difference between and in x and y you would substitute whatever specific terms you wanted to substitute to create a prompt and yeah so i've really just collated a whole load of information that i found dotted around the internet and came up with this so i'll include this in the descriptions section of this video so you can just use these as you see fit just to show you an example of one so for this one down here like how do you perform x in y and what are some common x approaches 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 so in an example i have here so let me switch over we're going to do how do you perform web scraping scraping in python and what are some common web scraping techniques so we'll give that a go so there's some suggestions for approaches to doing web scraping in python so using requests and beautiful soup that's probably how I would normally do it or this way using an API not used scrappy not used selenium so let's get it to show us an example so with these sort of simple prompts a lot of the time it's then going to take you down a topic rabbit hole which you can choose to then either pick one of the suggested questions or type in your own just to take you further down and there is the code And of course you can pick one of these or get it to write a summary, which is always fun. And of course you can just take the code and copy paste into your favorite python uh, interpreter ide maybe i want to scrape multiple pages in a row or save the scrape data to a file So we'll see if it will show us code to do this. Sometimes it will just automatically, other times it might come up as a second 
response which you can choose obviously there we go as you'll probably notice I am in creative mode I tend that tends to be my go-to mode now pretty much all the time there we have it so like I said what I'll do is I'll take this and I will copy this into the description on the video so you can just play around with these as you see fit substituting your own X Y's and Z's into these basic simple prompt frameworks thanks once again for watching bye for now and I will catch you in the next video